Is there something that you're holding on to that if you're honest with yourself, you know you need to let go of? My name is Haley, and today we're going to explore together the topic of praying for purity. You see, distractions are inevitable, and especially in today's culture, it feels as if the voices of others only continue to get louder and the demands of others get greater. But if we aren't careful, what seems so small at the beginning can actually begin to create this deep instability within all of us, and if unaddressed, will attempt to pull us away from the very calling that God has placed on our lives. In James 4 verse 8, we read that when we draw near to God, He will draw near to us. I love this because there is so much simplicity, but at the same time so much depth in this verse, that when we pause long enough to simply prioritize our connection with God, He is faithful to meet us every time. I think sometimes though, we forget that there's actually an action involved in our part. Jesus simply wants our heart and our worship, but our action is that we have to become more aware of his presence. The verse goes on to say this, cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you men of double mind, which is inferring that in order to have a pure heart, there is a refinement that must take place. You see, we can't have a pure heart if internally we are deluded or entertaining things that God has commanded us to flee from. I think if we really take a moment to think about those things, we can all identify something that needs to go. And I wanna focus briefly on that word diluted, because when something is diluted, it means it is weakened by having been mixed with something else. And when something is diluted, it is less powerful and less effective. And it's easy to think that just because something is diluted, it has to be thrown out, but it is actually not the case. When the contaminants are removed, the mixture is restored. So hear me when I say this, you are not too far gone to return to the heart of God. But when it comes to spiritual contamination, the only way to remove what is contaminating your life or calling is by pouring everything out and allowing God's fresh mercy and grace to fill you up again. You see, to live pure lives, blameless and clean, free of all sin and shame, we have to lay everything down at the feet of Jesus. Just like the story of the woman who poured oil on Jesus' feet, we have to place ourselves in a posture of saying, Jesus, you can have it all. Because not only did she pour the best of what she had, she also brought her sin and her shame and laid it all down in the presence of Jesus. Because in his presence is where we find his peace that changes everything. Would you pray this with me today? Jesus, we lay it all down at your feet. We put aside any distractions and simply pause to draw near to the heart of God. Would you meet us where we are today in all of our brokenness and all of our shame and allow us to remember that what you did on the cross, we didn't deserve it, but you said that we were worth it. Jesus, you are the greatest gift. And so we come to you today with an offering of the good and the bad for your love, for your grace, your kindness, and your mercy. Purify our hearts and draw us near to you. In your name we pray, amen.